This video will be about servicing your older S-Men 460. Later I'll have a video on the newer S-Men 480V. What I noticed, I've had four or five of these in the past. Every one of them right out of the box. When I tried to draw a deep vacuum down below 100 microns, somewhere around three or 400 microns, I would notice the vacuum uh, stabling off there and leaking. Even if I disconnected the hoses, sealed everything off, when you would read your micron meter, it would still pop off. When you would move your valves, you would notice it jump up several hundred microns or a few microns depending. You'd wiggle them back and forth, you would see the micron meter move up. It was all leaking past these valves. When you take these valves out, you might have to take it out a little bit. taking out this piston assembly. This is one I already previously put silicone grease. Silicone grease, not silicone, the drying type of silicone. This is silicone or dielectric grease. It's used on spark plugs, weather stripping, stuff like that. Uh, I have it on the back side of the O-rings. They go bad. So Here's your pistons all by themselves, removed, this slips in there like that, and this is this whole assembly there. The same assembly I took out there, it's three pieces, one, two, three. You grab your O-rings, it's best if this was wood and not a sharp metal that could possibly damage your O-rings, but since this is demo. And you do your cleaning with isopropyl alcohol. This is 99.9% .9 isopropic, but any brand will do. Uh, stay away from the stuff that's 70%, 80%, 90%, or 91% from Walgreens and stuff. See if you can find one at least 99%. Take your dielectric grease, just a little bit. That's even too much. Put it back into grooves, fill the grooves up, grab your O-rings. Now what this will do it will make it so vacuum, air, cannot come down the stem and bypass through the back side of your O-rings. And you'll also have this on the front side too. Put it there. Okay, that's finished. Now you can grab this. This is where air will come down the back side of the grooves here. It'll come down from up above, come down through here, through here, and bypass your O-rings that might be leaking. Slip that back inside there. I had that part for service, something else. But you'll want to put just a little dab in here. Of course, I gotta put too much. It never fails. You don't want it down in the shaft. You don't want it getting inside. You just want it where these threads are right here because any air that could seep down through here or any air that could seep down through the threads past your O-rings. If you're stuck on a job site, you can't buy a new set and you just discover that you're not holding pressure. 
this will be a quick fix. This will get you by so you can actually finish your job because there's nothing like having a vacuum leak and thinking it's your system that's leaking and you find out this is where it's coming from. You don't have to tighten this much. This is not doing the ceiling for you, just a little snug. That's it. Do not over tighten. Now one other thing you'll notice. Let's get this to focus. And then if I could get a close up. Now if you look really careful, you'll see a little groove. And you'll see metal particles, little black particles in that groove that is formed. That is this, the whole flat surface is not the ceiling surface. It's that round ring that you see going around. And you'll see little black debris. That's usually from your dirty systems. And that's where you will lose. You'll either bypass refrigerant or you won't be able to hold a vacuum seal and it'll bypass. Time for a new piston. So as you've seen, that will cover um, the simple and fast replacement. I don't think you need me to repeat that four times. One time is good enough. You can order these from Field Piece. I have a new hook coming. My hook broke, so I'll show you how to replace the hook. I already started to uh, disassemble this. I took off the sides that you had put your clamps. On another video, I will show you how to calibrate your thermal couple temperature clamps. And in another video, I'll show you how to calibrate pressure. That'll be it for now. The newest vacuum uh, with the micron gauge, the S-Man 480V now has a pressure decay test. You go into the pressure decay test for performing nitrogen pressure test for looking for leaks. That is the, one of the best upgrades for the newest S-Man. This is the S-Man 460. The new model is the S-Man 480. See you next time.